I'm going to show you how to cut your own pen from reed or bamboo for drawing or writing with using information from this excellent book uh, which has information about Is Abbasid era Islamic artist materials and calligraphy materials. So starting with a bit of reed or bamboo, something kind of rigid and hollow. Um, trim between knots. And then the first step is to trim a kind of curve shape at the end. So if you're using a, a scalpel blade or a craft knife, make sure not to flex the blade because um, then it might break and ping off um, into your face or somewhere else, unfortunate. Just pair a little bit at a time because that's much less effort less likely to break the reed or bamboo that you're using, less likely to break the blade and more efficient in the long run. And make sure the blade that you're using is nice and sharp as well because that's going to both be safer in avoiding accidents and easier to use. So you can see I've got a rough kind of shape there. I'm going to carry on pairing so that my nib at the end is going to be longer. Um, also, just um, that's a bit better. I'm just um, thinning down this nib at the end as well. So I'm just pairing right at the end here. Uh, I'm also scratching out any fibrous material from inside the reed so at the moment what I have is kind of this shape so um, I need to put a split in here that's going to act as a channel for the ink to flow to the very end. So you don't really kind of cut it, you just um, get it started and encourage it to split further. Also, if you're right-handed, um, it's good to have it not central, but off to that side slightly, as you're looking at it. This will be further explained in a small worksheet. So, that's looking good. And um, a slight angle at the end of the nib is good as well, so I'll put that on as the next step. And I've just cut that, as you can see, like that. And now I'm going to pare it down on the sides to the width that I want the nib to be.
turning off a tiny amount at a time. So there you can see there is a cut nib. So here goes with the pen. And looking at some other pens that I have made earlier. And going back to the pen that I just made, um, I've just made a couple of adjustments. I've made the split a little bit longer. I've narrowed further a little bit the nib. And that bit there, I've paired back because it was getting in the way of writing. And it works much better now. And to show you the cutting again in more detail, 